What is up my original bagels and welcome back to some more gameplay and back with another series of Pro Player Profile and today we are doing Optic Formal. So Matthew Formal Piper is a Call of Duty Pro Player and a retired Halo Pro Player from the United States and he is of course on, on Optic Gaming. So he was in in Halo and he looked elsewhere following the fall of Halo's uh, the Halo's fall from MLG Pro Circuit and he noticed Call of Duty was on the go and he joined Primal in his, for, in his Call of Duty career and went on to play 17th at his first event at MLG Columbus and when he was competed there shortly after he was recruited by the most storified franchises, I love them. The competitive Call of Duty team, well it was, Team Fear. After staying with Team Fear, I think, well really shortly anyway, he joined Team Caliber and competed with them in the World Championship. But they finished, I think it was top, top 20, I think, no, top fucking 15. I think it was 13th to 16th or something like that then formal left to join phase black which was proofy sensor and saints and himself and loads thought this would be a god squad and would finally overcome complexity but they never saw any uh any um real success and then he then he went to envious with the team of Merc, Nameless, Jacob and Formal. Immediately they made an impact at their first uh, event together in Gfinity 3 in London. The team had a fantastic event sweep in most teams 3-0. Epsilon in the final 3-0. Taking home 30 grand in the prize money. This cemented Formal in the Halo, well not in the Halo books, but in the history books as the first ever professional gamer to win a major LAN event in both Call of Duty and Halo. Uh, Formal and Envious look to take this form back to the US at UMG Dallas but and they did like they really did uh, finishing second to a very informed denial who had looked strong all tournament long. Formal himself was involved in a small amount of roster controversies following karma leaving evil geniuses uh he was widely considered as favorite to fill karma's spot and he was even linked with optic gaming but he stayed with envious in the mlg cod league season three playoffs and then he left team envious in advanced warfare and joined optic gaming together with crim6 so the complete roster in that was nade shot Crim6 and Scump and Formal of course. Uh, Optic went into MLG Columbus 2014 with the number one overall seed having won both 5k and 10k tournaments. They placed second after top five of best mat top two best of five matches against FaZe in the grand final. After a disappointing loss in the event Optic Game and headed into UMG Orlando again with the sec first seed. This made it difficult for themselves after losing both pool play matches on Friday, trio against Stunner and Revenge. With the help from the other teams in the pool, Optic advanced to the winner bracket after after their last two matches. From there they advanced to the grand final and placed first after getting revenge then in the final against Stunner Gaming, 3 1. After storming through season one of the Pro League the MLG Pro League with a 36 to 8 record Optic Boys entered the season 1 playoffs with the first seed they stormed through the event taking down Rise, Aware North America Team Caliber and in a closely contested game 5 series with Denial in the grand final to take home 30 grand and the championship just 2 weeks later the team took home an event win uh, at the NA National Regionals as they only lost one in that one map and then they 
They defeated top teams as TK, Envy, Phase Red and Denial in the grand final. Defeating Denial 3-0 in the final for the second event straight. This left them with the number one seed for Call of Duty Champs. Then after having won the last three events they were heavy favourite to take home. But they didn't. They placed shockingly to be honest. They placed sec- seventh after and taken home 35 grand just some stuff i wrote down some trivia stuff formal began his esports career in halo he's the first fps player to win both a major call of duty tournament and a halo lan event has won events on halo 2 halo reach halo 4 call of duty ghost and advanced warfare failure won hit formal won three events with three different teams across in three different games in a two month period like who even does that that's like three events with three different teams that that's so sketchy like in two months how can anybody do that but yeah that is it guys i hope you like favorite and subscribe and wait for the next one to come out because i think it's going to be good and peace